Hey everyone, you're listening to the Active Turnkey Podcast, a podcast designed for hands-off, passive real estate rental investors. In the Active Turnkey Podcast, you'll hear Tom Olson and Jared Stoltmeister discuss all things turnkey rentals with other turnkey providers, service providers, and rental investors. Our goal is to help you reach your financial freedom and whatever comes after that. Let's go. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Active Turnkey Podcast. I'm your host, Jared Stoltmeister. And as usual, Tom Olson is with us today. I'm here. I'm wearing like a different shirt, Jared. He is. Um, tell us a little bit about your shirt. Yeah, so it's actually <laughs> filling the storehouse. Uh-huh. And um, it's kind of about a little bit about what we're going to talk about today to a certain degree. Mm-hmm. Because one of our friends, Stu and Dave, um, from Storehouse 311, I think it mm-hmm. is, or something mm-hmm. to that effect. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think they've even sent you know, some of our, some of their buyers to so, us. And mm-hmm. um, so we appreciate you. And I just got the shirt in the mail. And I haven't even like sent a picture of myself in it to send back to them. Because I'm sure that they're going to want that from me. Mm-hmm. Um, but I've been on a couple of their podcasts. And I've been, I spoke to their mastermind. And, um, really like the whole reason why they're in business is because they feel like this is why God's placed them on this earth is to help mm. fill the storehouse. Mm. Um, so that's what we're going to talk about today is not necessarily filling a storehouse, but like, what is your filling a storehouse? What is your purpose? What is your reason? Why are you in rentals in the first place? What mm. do you really want? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's exactly what we're titling it. What do you really want? Um, in my seat, host or not hosting, uh, the talking t- to new clients coming in. I think everyone knows that in doing rental properties, or investing in rental properties, is a way to get to financial freedom. It's a way to invest, um, and uh, they know many people do it. And so they, it's. But I, I do see that in many cases, people know they want it, and they generally say, "Well, I want to be able to do whatever it is I want to do later." But it certainly goes much deeper than that. Yeah, I mean. It's so natural almost for us to just say, to talk about the how. Mm -hmm. And a lot of this podcast, Mm -hmm. that's what we talk about. We Mm -hmm. talk about how, and not even just like how as in rentals, but how do you actually make the rentals Mm -hmm. work? Mm -hmm. And those are great podcasts. And I think those are really good for people to, you know, to to, to chew on. And it's good content. And a lot of people like those. Mm -hmm. But... But like I was on a call this morning and, I, and me and Jerry were talking about like, hey, you know, what should we do for the podcast? And I'm like, you know what? I really think people need to be, this needs to be be into people over and over and over mm-hmm. and over again. And if you're not super clear about this, mm-hmm. if you're not super clear about why you're getting into the rental game in the first place. Why are you buying the rentals? Um, and, and I think it's not all about business. It's not about money. It's really kind of about what, why, or what, why were we created? Mm-hmm. You know, what do I really want to do? And I think, um, you know, to even drill down a little bit more, I think a lot of times we're not willing to admit what it is that we want. And whether it's for one reason or another, you know, I've found sometimes that we're not, we're afraid to admit what we want because maybe we don't think a spouse is on the same page as us. Hmm. You know, maybe we think we're not willing to um, admit what we want because maybe we think it's selfish. And maybe it is. I don't know. Uh Maybe uh, we think it's too big for us. Maybe there's fear involved in mm-hmm. um, saying, what do I want? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, for Stu, you know, it, it, he's not afraid to say, he says, you know what? Like, I believe this is why I'm doing what I'm doing. This is what I really want. I really want to be able to make money so I can give. And that's kind of, you know, what, what, what we do, mm-hmm. you know, and I mean, to me, I actually believe that if you knew what all the benefits of were giving of giving were, if I mean most seriously, if you're listening out there and you're not a giver, I promise you, if you knew what all the benefits were to giving, you'd be looking for opportunities to give. Mm-hmm. You'd be looking for opportunities because I seriously, I 100 percent believe this more than I believe Jared and more than I believe, you know, my wife. That like you reap what you sow. I really firmly believe that. I believe that when I Go find somebody else that needs something. When I give to missionaries, when I give to orphanages, when, that always comes back to me. It doesn't always come back to me the way I think it's going to come back to me, mm-hmm. but it comes back to me in one way, shape, or form. So I want to put that for myself for first and foremost. Now, to other people, that's not always the case, right? Mm-hmm. And and honestly, like I don't think every single person was was placed on this earth only for that one reason, is to work, to have, to give. Mm-hmm. I think there's a lot of people that are. Um, and they're kind of either afraid or maybe they're too proud or maybe they're just too lazy 
to go out and do it. But, um, you know, so for me, that's what it is for me. I, I, was, so I, was, I was on a phone call this morning, and you know how the conversation, guess how the conversation started, Jared? Well, it went into goals, numbers, no, stats. No, they were wanting to know if they could work with us as at Olsen Group. Oh. They were wanting to know. They were, they were all focused on the how. Mm-hmm. That's right. all the whole, the whole thing was, is like, how can I do what I want to do? And, um, you know, I, I had had some conversations with them before I went on this phone call this morning. So I was kind of per- more prepared for doing a, like a financial consulting with them. Now, I'm not a CFP. I'm not a financial planner. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're going to do investments, you know, we even have a disclaimer on here. If you're going to do investments, talk to your attorney, talk mm-hmm. to your financial advisor, talk to your accountant. I don't give out financial advice from, from that perspective, but what I do, and I have something I have started doing because we decided to shut down the Good Success Mastermind, is I am actually helping people co- uh, complete financial freedom plans. Hmm. Um, I will go out for a, a whole day or maybe even two days if they really want. I think this can be done in one day, but you know some people really want the extra time. Um, and it's kind of interesting. Like Most people have never done this. Most people have never really sat down mm-hmm. and figured out, mm-hmm. number one, What is it that we really want? You know, one of my great friends, Jim, I won't mention his last name because a lot of people will know him. You know, he actually told me um, about four or five months ago when I was talking to him about, you know, possibly shutting down the Good Success Mastermind. He was was telling me, he's like, you know what? Me and my wife had to sit down and we had to realize, hey, we weren't on the same page with things. Like we, Mm -hmm. we, we, we both had kind of a vision. We both wanted to go a certain direction. And we weren't really on the same page. We really we needed to kind of step back and I needed to listen from her and she needed to listen to me and we kind of needed to have this time. And, and you know what I found is, Jared, is most people won't ever do that on their own. They almost need a facilitator, somebody else that's willing to come in and just boom, like ask the question, say the thing that needs to be said that anybody that's in the room is obvi- can obviously see, but sometimes we don't see it because you know it's it's our own life and we're kind of too close to it. So something that I'm doing, I'm really I'm really passionate about this. I really I love this. I'm I'm doing business consulting as well. So in a way, it's almost the same thing as business consulting. It's extra. It's more of on the personal life. It's on. It's really like what I why I created the Thirty Days to Good Success mm-hmm. you know book mm-hmm. is to really help people get people on that journey and, and try to help them figure out. What is it that you really want? Mm-hmm. Um, and then kind of make sure that you're on the same page. Now, now, what is it that you really want? You know, for, for, for the couple this morning, you know, they're in New Orleans, all right? And New Orleans might sound fun to people that have never been there. But the feedback that I'm getting from them is, you know, six to nine months out of the year, it's miserable. Mm-hmm. It's hot. It's sticky. There's lots of mosquitoes. Mm-hmm. Um, their property taxes are insanely high, and these are all the things that I heard from them this morning. They're super, like they're just they're they're, they're kind of fed up with it. They mm-hmm. they like to be in nature. They like to go out hiking. Mm-hmm. They like to be outside. They like to see things. They like to travel, um, and that's what they really wanted. You know, they 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 and they and they have some assets. And they have some means, mm-hmm. and they're kind of like they started the whole conversation with. Um, this is how we're going to get there. Mm-hmm. But I was like, well, wait, wait a minute. What do you want to, where do you want to get to? Mm-hmm. If, if you actually really want to get to somewhere, it doesn't matter what plan we put together. Mm-hmm. I can put a financial freedom plan together for you, but if you don't know what it is that you want, the financial freedom plan is going to be wrong. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I always think about a map when you think about this, right? So like I can map it out from here to let's just say New York city. Okay. And let's just say I want to go see the Statue of Liberty. That's my goal. I want to go see the Statue of Liberty, right? But I see a lot of other people that are going to the Grand Canyon. And guess what? We're in the middle of those two. We're like Mm -hmm. right in the middle of the country. I need to go east if I'm going to go to the Statue of Liberty. I need to go west if I'm going to go to the Grand Canyon, right? Mm -hmm. So if I create a plan based on going to the Statue of Liberty... Mm -hmm. Or based on going to, um, sorry, the Great, the Grand Canyon, but I really want to go to the Statue of Liberty. Mm-hmm. Am I going to end up there? I would think not. I mean, I'm moving somewhere. Mm-hmm. I'm doing. Mm-hmm. So, I'm putting work in motion. I'm making it happen. I'm I'm howling it. Mm-hmm. I'm making it happen. Like mm-hmm. I'm doing something. I'm buying rentals. I'm lending money. I'm mm-hmm. investing in syndications. I know how to do all those things. But at the end of the day, if I, my goal is to really get to New York City, I'm never going to get there unless I admit, you know what, I want to go to New York City. 
Um, and, and I think sometimes, like if you, if you, a lot of times you might be going in the right direction. So that those are kind of two polar opposites direction. But let's say I want to go to San Diego. San Diego is a beautiful place. Um, I can't really stand the politics there. I can't really stand all the other stuff and all the homeless people now sleeping, mm -hmm. sleeping on the streets. But I'll tell you, like, it's a beautiful place to go. It really is. Um, so if I want to go there and I start focusing on how, 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 I might even put myself in the right direction. I might be going in the right direction. But if I'm not really honest about where I'm at, mm -hmm. so I might, I might like create a plan and I, and I want to be, I'm, I'm a little proud and arrogant maybe. And I want to say, you know what, like I'm already, I'm almost already there. You know, I, I might, I might actually act like I'm in um Nevada you know because you know there's there's uh you know the big lights there and all the casinos there sure. and the strip I mean you go right there and 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 I, I I'm so proud and I and I want to come to everybody I want to say hey I re I've got a hundred doors and I really only have a 20 doors um and I've got you know a couple million dollars when I really only have a couple hundred thousand dollars you know you might make yourself a plan to get to California mm -hmm. based on being in Nevada based mm -hmm. on being in Las Vegas right and that's a pretty short trip it's sure. not a very long trip so if I'm really in Chicago I'm gonna end up in where Iowa somewhere I'm not gonna make it to my destination mm -hmm. so um, you know so, you know, so I, I try to use these these explanations and these um, these ways of thinking just because like I think it's so important and when I was talking to these people this morning I kept drilling down. I kept asking questions. I even went down to ask, where do you want to move to? So they said they wanted to move away from where they were at. Mm -hmm. They gave me all the problems. They gave me what they kind of had. And they and they wanted to initially focus right away on, like, we want to work with Olson Group because we heard from this customer and this customer and this customer of yours. And we've already talked to, you know, three different people. And, you know, we're ready to just take all of our money from here and move them to you. And, and I'm like, well, wait, let's back up. Why do you really want to make this move? Where do you really want to go? And I even went into like the states that they want to go to. They mentioned Idaho. They mentioned Colorado. They mentioned California, which, you know, I already gave my opinions on that. Um, they, they actually are going to go to um, Tennessee in the next couple of weeks just to check out, just, just to check it out. And, and I even mentioned some other states. I'm like, maybe you ought to check out South Dakota. Maybe you want to check out. Uh, Montana, maybe even Hawaii, honestly. Um, Utah is beautiful. So like they really like to go out and they like to hike. They like to see the mountains. They like to experience the four seasons. Um, they, they don't want it to be so hot all year round. They want some kind of a balance a little bit. Um, and, and, I, and I stopped them and I'm like, see, like if you don't really ever stop to think about it, and really almost draw the picture in your mind. And you're like, you want to almost see a picture and say, this is what I want. Mm -hmm. This is what I want to experience. This is really what I want. And, I, and I, then, honestly, I got to that next step. So, you know, I think everybody wants to talk about money first. I don't think you should. You, money is the last step. So after you figure out what you really want, what you really want your lifestyle to be, what you really believe that God placed you on this earth for, maybe to work, to have, to give, if whatever that, that giving goal is or whatever, whoever it is that you want to help mm -hmm. when it comes to that giving, um, whenever you can start clearly, for me, like I told Becky, I want to go and I want to tour missionaries. You know, like Josh Hederman, he kind of still works for us, he used to work for us, he's in Peru, mm -hmm. and I want to go see him. I, I'm, I, I've been spending a lot of time on Facebook uh, Messenger um, with some of the other missionaries that I know around the world at one in Puerto Rico and actually just came and visited our office mm -hmm. um, not, not too long ago. And, um, you know, I would love to go and, and see him and I'd love to be, you know, you know, it, to me, like, that's a dream of like, I can visualize that I can see that. And that's why I do what I do. That, that, mm -hmm. That's whole, that, that's the what I want. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, you can have a billion dollars in your bank account, right? Yeah. Yeah. And it means it means nothing. Mm -hmm. It means a hill of beans if like it's not moving, if it's not doing something. Mm -hmm. I mean, so what is it that you really want? Um, and, and again, like, so what I'm doing is I'm going out and I'm helping people. That's the most important part. The most important part is figuring out what it is that you really want. The next most important part is then figuring out, you know, where are they at now? What, what do they really have in assets? So, so what is their income now? What is their budget? What are their assets? What does their retirement accounts look like? What kind of cash are they working with? What is their network? What are their skills? Um, what are their current opportunities? And like, 
do you, is it possible? Do you want to work? You know, some people like, mm -hmm. honestly, they get to that point and they think they don't want to work and then they don't work. And then they're like, Oh, this is kind of boring. Mm -hmm. This kind of is not the lifestyle I really wanted to. So asking those questions and then making them all answer that and then making sure that they're on the same page when it comes to where you're at now and where you, where you, you know, where you want to go. And then you're really like understanding what is the gap? What is the, what is that? You know, if, if I say I'm at, you know, 10 doors and my financial freedom plan says I need a hundred doors, well, that gap is 90 doors. Mm -hmm. um, it, it, or, but I look at it more like money. To me, I don't think you should have a hundred percent of all your portfolio in rentals. And even though I'm a turnkey provider, I, I really still believe that. I believe that you ought to have a little bit of, um, of different uh, ways that, that, that you make your, your financial freedom. Um, so again, what do you really want? Where do you want to live? Um, what's your lifestyle? What are those wants? What are the needs? A lot of times our wants and our needs collide. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. we might think we want this, but then we realize, oh, I really need this. Mm -hmm. um, and then also understanding who else is involved in this. If you make moves, if you make changes in your lifestyle, who is it going to affect? Is it going to affect your parents? Is it going to affect your siblings? Are, are people relying on you? Mm -hmm. So there's some need-based things in there. Maybe you have kids. Um, you know, this couple had kids. And understanding, hey, this move might affect them and, and, and knowing what, you know, what that looks like. And then after that, and, and again, like we've talked about this a little bit in here, but I just wanted to open up because I'm starting to do more of these, you know, in, in my business. And I, I didn't want to offer it to the people that are uh, listening to the Active Turnkey. If this is something that you're interested in, I do offer this as a consulting package where I'll actually come to your location. We'll spend a whole day together and we'll, 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 you'll end up with a financial freedom plan. And actually, I'm going to ask a bunch of other pointed questions. You're going to have to be willing to be open and honest with where you're really at and where you really want to go. And I really want to make sure that you and your spouse or the people that you know are going to be other decision makers in this are on the same page. And if they're not, it's okay, I think, going into it as long as I know, as long as we kind of can talk about it and to kind of like try to pull out um, how both people and how both parties can uh, kind of help that. So, you know, after you figured out what and where you're at now, then I feel like you really want to get back into why. Like, why do you really want that lifestyle? Why do you really want to be able to give what you want to be able to give? Um, who is this going to affect? And then I, I always ask this question, it surprises people, but are you sure? Are you really sure? <laughs> this is what you really want. Um, are you on the same page? Why? I'm going to ask the question, why were you created? What does this allow you to do that you are not currently you know, able to do? If you were to create this plan, if you were to be able to implement this plan, um, who, you know, who, who is this going to affect and, and what is this going to allow you to do? And then, then after those three things, we get into the how. Then we get into, okay, well, maybe you can, you know, buy from turnkey rental properties. I know people all around the country. Mm -hmm. Olson Group is a great company, and I highly recommend them. Uh, but, um, but other than that Jared guy, you got to watch out for him. Um, he's, he's a little rascal. Uh, but no, I'm just kidding. Jared's, Jared's awesome. Uh, but, you know, how, how, what is that plan to actually help you reach financial freedom? I think the plan has to do with markets. It also has to do with strategy. You know, mm -hmm. some of this, off, a lot of people listening to this might just be in rentals. You know, single family rentals, um, but maybe multifamily is part of this. Maybe commercial is part of this. Maybe lending, maybe syndications, maybe other investments, maybe stocks, maybe Bitcoin might be part of this. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Not something I'm I'm necessarily a part of, but you know, maybe um, stocks. Some some people obviously I think have 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 done well with stocks over the years, but and then kind of going through the inventory of knowledge that you have because I think. Through our whole life, we have been given a lot of knowledge and opportunities, and it kind of changes who we are. But it also changes like what we might want to do in the future, you know, and and what opportunities we we take advantage of. Because I think when you're when you're going to invest in something, the knowledge that you have in it is important. The knowledge that you can bring to the table will help you, um, you know. And, and there's. The, the, I think the, the, the worst thing you could do sometimes is invest in something that you know nothing about. Sure. So when it comes to the how, asking those you know pointed questions, what's your knowledge inventory, what are the strategies that you want to use to be able to make that happen? Um, and I think you need to ask yourself, do I still need to work? Back to those you know where needs and your wants collide. You know, a lot of us we might think we want to just sit on a on a on a beach and not do anything all day, but then we kind of come to the realization, well, guess what? You know. 
I still need to work. I still need to make at least something. Um, and also kind of even going over those retirement accounts, going over pensions you might have. Even Social Security can, well, you know, can kind of come into play depending on the age that you're at um, to be able to hit help hit, hit those, those financial goals. And then I go into when are you going to want, you know, when do you want to implement this plan by? And then what needs to happen right now? You know, what, what's the next steps? And then I, what I do is I actually also implement a strategy or implement like a template for them to be able to give themselves a checkup every single week and kind of check in with each other and figure out what, do I, what did I say I was going to do next last week? Did I get it done? Um, what do I need to do this week? And kind of just helping. That's the momentum. That's the, that's the little steps that actually help you reach your goals in the long run. So I just want to encourage everybody who's listening, don't just focus on how. Don't focus just on, you know, I think, I think you have to revisit this vision thing often. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I would tell you at least once a year when it comes to financial freedom, when it comes to your lifestyle, when it comes to what you want, but maybe even every quarter, maybe, you know, really kind of taking a couple hours to reflect and figure out, you know, what is it that you want? What does that vision look like? Because it really is so important. And somebody has to be doing it. Mm-hmm. If not, somebody else will create that vision for you and somebody mm-hmm. else, and you'll just be following somebody else's vision. And I think some of us are made to do that. Some of us you know, aren't necessarily visionaries and some of us are made to kind of follow somebody else's vision. Um, but like, I, I really do think it's a, it's a, it's an important piece and it's, and, and, I, and I would hate, I would hate to create rental portfolios for people that don't really know what their vision is. I really want you to be able to, I, w- I want you to know what's the name of this, of this whole thing. What do you really want in the first place? Really? I would love for you to know what is it that you really want? And I just want to be a part of that. I mean, that's what we want to be here at Olson Group is we just really want to be a part of your financial freedom plan. Um, we, we, we don't really want to be your entire financial freedom plan. You know, one of my rules is I don't take somebody's last $50,000. I don't want to be their only egg hmm. in, you know, in their basket. I really do want there to be a bigger purpose. And I just want to be a part of helping people reach financial freedom. And that's 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 really who we serve. I, I I love serving investors. I love um, the uh, the fulfillment that we get every single day from hearing people tell us, "Hey, you helped me reach financial freedom." But if you don't know what that looks like, and if you don't know what that is, like please make it happen today. You know, rewatch this this podcast. Go back and even read the book, Active Turnkey book that that we have, and mm-hmm. I think we even have a, a way to be able to get that free mm-hmm. um, from this, and it, it pretty much gives you those five steps. You know, but really take the time to figure out what it is that you really want and be willing to admit it. To me, like that is that's what this whole podcast is all about. What do you really want? And um, I hope you guys will will take that and you'll and, and write it down. You know, don't just like don't just think about it. Write it down. Talk to your spouse about it. Talk to the other people in your life that um, you know are stakeholders in your life and um, make it happen. From a, uh, as I'm listening to you, from a, if you want to call it a spiritual perspective, you can view this as a worldview. So um, there are over 7 billion worldviews today, and everyone's unique based upon how they see the world. And uh, your worldview changes when something new is introduced. Uh, now you have a new perspective, and that can, in many cases, change what you want. Uh, so, uh, so the benefit to this is uh, sometimes we don't know the right questions to ask. Um, sometimes we don't have the, the actual life experience to know what we want in many cases. So to have somebody who's going to ask you hard questions, mm-hmm. um, and generally speaking, you want to choose somebody who, uh, I, I mean, I, I do work with some, some, with a group I work with a church. I tell them I have no, uh, agenda, uh, with them. My only agenda is for them to, to do what I believe God would want them to do. So, um, whether they do this or that doesn't really bother me. It's just, mm-hmm. hey, what are, what is it? Where are you going? And why are you making the decisions you're making? Um, and a lot of it has to do with, uh, like you're saying, we, we may think we're doing it because we want this, but our actions may not be being aligned with that thought process. So um, I would challenge you uh, locally uh, in your own communities. Do you have somebody that you can talk to that can maybe question you if what you say you want is lining up mm-hmm. with uh with uh, where you're headed, um, and are there some areas that you just don't know some things? And we all have them, and, and Lord willing, we'll continue to, to grow there. But again, it's it's changing your worldview so you can have a better idea. On what and you're absolutely like. right, true, true, too. And I didn't get into that too much, just because 
you know, sometimes I consult with people and they're not, you know, they're not Christians or they're not on that mm-hmm. side. And, and mm-hmm. I, I, I try to respect that. I try mm-hmm. to still be who I am. Mm-hmm. Um, we, you know, but when it comes to this, you're absolutely right. Like if I know somebody's a Christian, like, and they're go- doing something that's not, you know, what that is, mm-hmm. I think, I think part of this is questioning yourself. Is this what God would want me to do as well? It's mm-hmm. like, this is this what God wants for me. Um, and because, you know, we can plan all we want, and sure. sometimes God just laughs at us. So, well, uh, I, think, <laughs> I think this concept does transcend, uh, uh, if we wouldn't even say that, the spiritual perspective. Because in the end, whether I be- if I believe it's a, uh, a biblical concept or not, somebody else who doesn't have an agenda asking me good questions is going to be for my benefit. Because mm-hmm. it's going to make me think, rethink, and, and challenge my, my thinking. Um, on what my goal is. And you know what I found is that most people are spending 99% of their time mm-hmm. focusing on the how. Mm-hmm. Back to the original pre- premise of this whole thing. You're every and, and it's like natural. It's na- we get to work, we, we start doing something and we just keep we just get sucked into the the how. We just keep focusing on how and we, we need to learn more and more about how I need to do this and how I need to market it or how I need to acquire or how I need mm-hmm. and all those things are good things. I don't I don't want to discourage people from learning mm-hmm. um and to having more skills and, and to knowing how to do things. I but that's kind of like the now that's like that's like understanding. Mm-hmm. You know, you've got knowledge, you've got understanding and you've got wisdom. Understanding is that how, like mm-hmm. knowing how to get from one place to another. So I'm not discouraging it, but unless you know where you're going, like what's the point in the first place? Yeah. Um, you know, so uh, so I, I hope that this is this encourages you today. Mm-hmm. I hope that um, you will take a couple minutes today yourself. Um, and again, if you guys are interested in working with me, like I do these consulting packages, you guys can email me at tolson at goodsuccess.com where you guys can get a hold of Jared. He'll give his email as well and just let him know and mm-hmm. he will get in touch with me and I will contact you. But um, I'd like to add one more thought actually. Sure. If, I could. Uh, if we're not <coughs> careful, if we don't go through these steps and ask these questions, it's very possible we may get where we thought we wanted to go, but realize we actually are where somebody else is. You guys, okay. we we looked around and we saw what other people wanted and, and thought that's where we wanted to be and realized that's not where we wanted so you know, there's we, nothing worse than the feeling of climbing a ladder and really realizing you're on the wrong building. Yes, that is. You yeah. just went up maybe 40, 50 steps and you're climbing this ladder and then you mm-hmm. get up there and you're like, uh oh, this is not where I want to be. Sure. Uh, so just make mm-hmm. sure you know which building you're climbing. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. This is really good stuff. And uh, this is uh, some of these things we've touched on in previous podcasts actually pretty early on, but we wanted to bring this back in. Uh, and, uh, cause you, this is one part that you, we do tend to skip over. We tend to forget and just, uh, bringing this back up again can really help us remember why we're doing something and, uh, and again, why we we're doing it and what do we really want? Yeah. What do you really want mm-hmm. is to me, like I, I know Simon said, Simon said, it says start with why, mm-hmm. but I really believe you need to start with what, like, sure. what is it that you really want? What mm-hmm. is it? What do you want it to look like? How mm-hmm. do you want that to because, and then it's kind of like asking the questions, Versus the what? Sure. Then it's like, well, where am I at now? Mm-hmm. You know, what's the gap? And then why do I really want to make that leap? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Because if you start with why, like, you don't really know. Like, I feel like you have to ask the what before you can ask the why. Mm-hmm. Because, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, if you just ask, you can just, you can say why, 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 why all day long. And you can give all these reasons why. But you're not really, like, giving a why to, to a what. Sure. It has to be attached to a what. Um, and that's, so. that's what's unique about life is that. Uh, 10 years from now, your why could be different. Absolutely. <laughs> a lot of, it goes seasons back to worldview. It, it it, changed. Your, your seasons change of right. life. You know, right. you have kids that, you know, I, I mean, and even some of the things that we, I talked about this couple that I talked about, you know, with this morning, um, you know, like they have kids. Mm-hmm. So like they have to be part of this equation. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, but if they were, you know, a little bit older and their kids were maybe, you know, graduated from high school, maybe that they're not part of the equation anymore. Maybe the season of life has changed for them. And, um, you know, so, you know, I, I think again, like taking a whole day just to focus on this mm-hmm. and having somebody else that forces you to focus, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. somebody else that's willing to take the time with you sure. and ask the hard questions, I think is a super valuable thing. And I'm not really trying to push my services. I have an, I, I do have enough to do. Um, I don't really have time to do this in the next two months. I, I, I looked, looked at my calendar, um, but I, but I, I'd, I'd be glad to help somebody if they are, you know, looking to do something like this. So um, that's really all I think we got today, Jerry. 
But if you do get your your what really matters most, your what you really want settled, mm -hmm. after that we get in the how we do build rental portfolios for investors. That's right. So we are the how. Uh, that's right. We are so part of your how. That's correct. We want to be part of that. And uh, and so if you're interested in that, you can go to our new website at uh, biosoongroup.com. And you can go there to get on our buyers list and then schedule an appointment with me. Um, or you can uh, reach out directly to me at jared at biolsongroup.com. And uh, again, we'll be happy to work with you and uh, try to assist you as you reach your goals, whatever that looks like for each one of you. And uh, thank you for joining us. Active Turnkey, the best way to buy rentals. See you guys. Olson Group Network makes no warranty, guarantee, or representation as to the accuracy or sufficiency of the information featured in this podcast. The information, opinions, and recommendations presented in this podcast are for general information only, and any reliance on the information provided in this podcast is done at your own risk. This podcast should not be considered professional advice. Unless specifically stated otherwise, Olson Group Network does not endorse, approve, recommend, or certify any information, product, process, service, or organization presented or mentioned in this podcast, and information from this podcast should not be referenced in any way to imply such approval or endorsement. Any third-party materials or content of any third-party site referenced in this podcast do not necessarily reflect the opinions, standards, or policies of Olson Group Network. Olson Group Network assumes no responsibility or liability for the accuracy or completeness of the content contained in third-party materials or on third-party sites referenced in this podcast or the compliance with the applicable laws of such materials and or links referenced herein.